Don't look up. Alien Invasion Saturday Blast continues on Fox Kids. Spaceships from Earth have landed, seeking to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Who wrote this stuff? Carl Sagan? Mars Probe 1, 2, and 3, and now Mars Probe 4, which is sending back these incredibly dull pictures. Incredible! Yeah, awesome! Incredible that none of the mutant tomato seeds I smuggled onto Mars Probe 1 have sprouted. Bummer. Mars Live, another Whitley White exclusive. Wow, Mars! I'd like to be an astronaut and go there. The ground is so red. Reminds me of the garden patch where I used to play. Mars, that's only a planet. Why, when I was a lad, we went all the way to Pismo Beach. Finished! My first Tex-Mex pizza. Uh, the hot sauce on this will take care of that cold and clear your sinuses, Chad. Uh, no thanks, Uncle Wilbur. I'll just stick with lots of orange juice. Uh, how about you, Tara? <laughs> I'm on a diet, Mr. Finletter. Well, we'll see what the dog thinks. <laughs> Maybe a bit too heavy on the jumping beans and hot peppers. Mars is a lot like San Zucchini. Nothing ever happens. I was sure that Martian soil would have created a new species of killer space tomatoes. Hey, but remember the success you had with Zoltan and the Gang of Five? I have even made a record of it for prosperity. That's posterity. Yeah, whatever. This is a flashback. It is intended for the private use of our audience and may not be reproduced without the express permission of the Putrid Tea Gangrene Foundation for the preservation of pestilence, plague, and public persecution. I've always wanted to meet the father of the rocket ship, the famous Dr. Werner Von Broccoli. So have I. Where is the dude? That's me. And I am so happy that you are doing me this little favor. Why, I, I'm delighted to expose these pansy seeds of yours to some real cosmic radiation. They will be most grateful, and I will be most grateful. The world will be most grateful. <laughs> This is Igor Smith reporting live on the spot where the most secret of all secret space shuttle launchings in the history of, of secret space shuttle launchings has just been launched secretly. There have been rumors of a secret cargo on this secret mission. A cargo of, what else? Secrets? No, tomato seeds. Of course, the NASA dudes have vigorously denied these rumors. But there is no denying that this secret shuttle mission has not gone exactly as planned. The seeds 
secretly sent into space are secretly presented to school children throughout the nation. <laughs> You understand the principle behind my mutant making machine? Mm, yes, it would be difficult for a brain as reduced in magnitude as yours to comprehend anything beyond sun, surf, and sleep. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Doctor. Your dude ship? In the old days, there was Peter Lorre and Boris Karloff. Today, one must make do with Igor Smith. Turn off the climate control, Igor. I said, turn the climate control off! I trust you played the learning tapes while my little vegetables were vegetating? I don't want stupid tomatoes. I did just like you said, your smartness, sir. Hit it, boys! Way down upon the sand zucchini, far, far from home. did you use on these tomatoes? These, your unworthiness. Blockhead? These are from my late night movie collection. All right, you dirty rat. <laughs> See you to help me with my science project, Tara. I just love astronomy, Chad. It's almost as much fun as as listening to the farm report. I only hope we can assemble this telescope. The instructions are in Japanese. Big as FT. Hey! There's Orion the Hunter. Oh, let me see. Oh, there's Taurus the Bull. Valley. Could you pick up the pace with a little tomato power? Golly, that meteor made quite an impression. It made a big hole in the ground, too. Oh, they might not. 
being invaded by tomatoes from space. We're gonna need the Tomato Task Force on this one. Hello, Floyd Bridgework? Hello? Yes? I'm ready, ready. Mary Jo Nandam and Dominici? Are we survival training? Mary Jo speaking? Billboard? On my way, Buster! Well, the Tomato Task Force should be arriving any moment. Sam the Sham reporting for active duty. Mary Jo's late. But we can't wait. We've got some Martian tomato butts to kick. How you know they from Mars? This is from Mars Probe 1. They use the NASA rocket parts to build their flying saucers. So in addition to our tech in our world, they infringed on our patents. You may be big, but you're outnumbered. Tomato Task Force! Retreat, I say! Where is Mary Jo when we need her? I am coming, Wilbur. Let us do me tossing at the maple salad, comrades. GBK style. Charge! You know, Tara, I think the army is taking this invasion serious. But what do the tomatoes want in San Zucchini chat? Yes! What are Martian tomatoes doing here in a peaceful little do-nothing town like San Zucchini? That's what all of San Zucchini is demanding to know! And I, Whitley White, am here on the spot without benefit of a hairdresser to deliver the answer to that question. These mutant tomato seeds are all that remain of the strain I developed to send to Mars. I dreamed of an army of Martian tomatoes trampling through San Zucchini, but it never came to pass. Whitley White reporting live from beautiful downtown San Zucchini, where killer tomatoes from the red planet Mars are overrunning the army. Will San Zucchini be destroyed? Will alien tomatoes take over the world? Uncle Wilbur, it's not going too well, is it? Don't worry, Chad. We've only begun to fight. The Navy is on its way. Right. Believe we show those Martian tomatoes who's boss. Of course, there's some minor damage to San Zucchini. Oh, that's at San Diego. Well, I flung for medial geography. And my spelling isn't so hot either. Time to call the president. Yeah. Uh, got a quarter, Chad? No, no. First it was broccoli, now it's tomatoes. Will it never end? Read my lips. Nuke them. Nuke all vegetables. Hey, dude. Can't you read the no parking sign? Take us to your leader. Whoa, what gnarly tourists. Look, Spacehead, we're here for the mutant seeds. And in a hurry. Okay, okay. Keep your stems on. Gaw, the doc could have at least told me you were coming. I just knew Dr. Gangreen would be involved. I don't like it here, Chad. This reminds me of the bad place where I grew up. This is the bad place where you grew up. That's probably why it reminds me of that place. Incredible. Amazing! My Martian tomato seeds were a success! I, Dr. Putrid T. Gangrene, am your proud creator. And now, no doubt, you have come to meet your maker. You gotta be kidding. Who does your makeup? General Electric? Don't be insolent. If you haven't come to pay me homage, then just why are you here? Seeds! We want the rest of your mutant tomato seeds! We need to take them back to Mars and grow an army of space tomatoes, like us. Then we can return and conquer the Earth. What's in it for me? Mm, maybe a clerk's job in the San Zucchini Sanitation Department. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, oh, oh! Can I be the San Zucchini TV anchorman? Huh? Can I? Can I? Shut up, Igor. Branch Breath here is not in charge. I am the evil genius on this show, and I give the orders. You and what army? Okay, wise guys, you want trouble? <laughs> trouble? No, I want seeds. Uh, seeds? Yes, sir. You want seeds? Zoltan will give you seeds. This is bad, Tara. In fact, I don't think it could get much worse. I think it just did. Look out! Ghost aliens? Don't miss a close encounter of the Fox Kids kind on Casper next as Alien Invasion Blast continues on Fox Kids. You'll never take over the Earth! Of course we will. We are bigger and smarter than you puny Earthlings. You! Take these small ones to the ship. I'll deal with them later. Right, boss. Boss? You turncoat tomato. Sorry, Doc. We tomatoes stick together. You two, gather up the mutant seeds. This is really humiliating for someone of my stature. We gotta do something, Tara. Or the Earth is doomed. Look! They left the door to their flying saucer open. And the motor's running, too. The prisoners will not talk. I don't like doing this to a fellow tomato, but... Hey! What's going on? Put me down! Now! Yeah! No! Run! Wow! This is like being on the set of a science fiction movie. How do we operate it? I can barely drive Wilbur's pizza truck. I don't know. Start punching buttons. Welcome to the newly converted Martian Express Flying Saucer. Do you wish to pilot, or would you prefer me to proceed on automatic? Um, I don't know. What do you think, Tara? Just do it! Now! So much for your plan to take over the world, you can't even take over a couple of kids! <laughs> alert! Alert! Battle stations, prepare for auto assault! Destroy! Destroy! This thing's still running in attack mode! We're heading straight for San Zucchini! Oh no! We're a collision course with the Tomato Task Force! Whitley White of KRUD, the final battle, humans versus aliens, alien tomatoes, is about to begin, and you are watching it live, unrehearsed. But first, back to our main studios for an important message. Thanks for that live on-the-spot report, Whitley. We'll be back to you in just a minute, but first, this important word. Coming soon to a television set in your neighborhood. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Portions of this show may be too intense for adults. Kids, don't miss it. And now, back to the news. Amazing! That was the most exciting battle between men and women and flying saucers that I've ever seen. It was absolutely incredible! What battle? We never saw anything. Relax, we got it all on tape. Film at 11. 11? We want to see it now! Okay, okay. Play it again, Sam. We're attacking Uncle Wilbur! We gotta stop this thing! Ouch! 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 What happened? You've just activated the self-destruct command. I might suggest that you evacuate it as soon as possible. You're 30 seconds to detonation. 29, 28, 27. Look out! It's gonna... Stand back, Chad boy! I'll handle this! Well done, Finletto. Great job. 
But there's still two more flying saucers. And a lot of big, ugly Martian tomatoes. I think it's going to rain. I know it's going to rain. Look! The rain! It's shrinking the Martian tomatoes. And so, as suddenly as it began, the invasion ended. Oh! We're melting! Melting! The smog-filled rain of San Zucchini proved to be mightier than all the weapons, the army, the navy, the air force, and the tomato taspos could muster. I'll bet you thought that my flu bug was going to do that. <sighs> Greetings. I'm your host for the Tomato Zone, Rod Swirling. There are billions and billions and billions of worlds in the galaxy. Was this originally written for Carl Sagan or what? But on all the worlds circling all the suns in all the universes, we have yet to find any trace of intelligent vegetable life. Although there have been recorded instances of unintelligent life, particularly on Earth. Fox Kids, you can't see me, but I can see you. Oh, well, I'm hanging out inside your television just long enough to tell you that you got to tune in to Bobby's World. <laughs> you know Bobby, cute little kid, curious, giggles a lot. <laughs> Whoa, how did you get in here? Watch Bobby's World weekday afternoons after Tasmania and Saturday morning after Master Rider on Fox Kids. Woo! 